This super cool curve is called the folium of Descartes, or Descartes. Descartes was a French mathematician in the 1600s, and this looks a little bit like a leaf, and the word folium means leaf. And so we see the curve comes around, loops around on itself, and comes out. So this isn't even a function, because for uh, some values of x, we have multiple values of y. The formula is given implicitly by the formula right here. So around the 1600s, people were trying to work out tangent lines for increasingly difficult problems. And Descartes came up with this folium, and he said to Fermat, another mathematician, at the same time, I bet you can't compute the formula for the tangent line to this curve. Except he said it in French. And it turned out that Fermat could, but Descartes couldn't. And now, as calculus has progressed, we can do this calculation today. So let's take a point on that curve, and we'll take the point x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3, and let's just check that it's on the curve, okay? So if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 3, then we have 3 cubed plus 3 cubed on the left-hand side, and we have 6 times 3 times 3. So this is 54, and this is also 54. So we're good. Okay. The first thing we need, though, is to calculate the derivative, dy dx. And so we want to find y prime for this Descartes folium. And the way we do this is through implicit differentiation. And so when we do implicit differentiation, we need to use the chain rule, and let's just remember the chain rule before we go ahead and do it. If we take the derivative with respect to x of f of y, this is df dy dy dx, or we can also write it as being equal to f prime y y prime. The two are equivalent. All right, so when we do implicit differentiation, we differentiate on both sides of the equal sign, and then we use the chain rule. So we have the derivative with respect to x of x cubed plus y cubed is equal to the derivative with respect to x of 6 um, xy. Okay, let's look at the left-hand side. We can break this into the derivative with respect to x of x cubed plus the derivative with respect to x of y cubed. And then we can pull out the 6, and we have the derivative with respect to x of x times y. Let's remember one other rule for differentiation, which is the product rule. So the derivative with respect to x of f times g is equal to f prime g plus f g prime. And so we're going to use that in the next line. Okay. Derivative with respect to x of x cubed is 3x squared. When we differentiate this, we need to use the chain rule, so we have that this is equal to 3y squared times dy dx. And on the right-hand side, we're going to think about this as our f, and this as our g. Okay, so we have f prime is dx dx times y plus x times dy dx. All right, so we uh, need to do one more line here before we uh, group like terms. And so dx dx is equal to 1. So we just have y plus x times dy dx in the brackets. Now notice there's a dy dx here and there's a dy dx here. 
So what we want to do is we want to bring the dy dx's over to the left hand side. We want to have the other terms on the right hand side and that way we can isolate dy dx and get a formula for it because that's what we want to be able to write the equation for the tangent line. And so we write dy dx times 3y squared, we've got this term, and then we need to bring this term over, which is minus 6x, is equal to 6y, we've got this term, we have to bring this term here over to the right hand side, which is minus 3x squared. Now solving for dy dx, we have dy dx is equal to 6y minus 3x squared over 3y squared minus 6x. And so this is our formula that we can use when we write our tangent line. So our tangent line will be at the point 3, 3. So dy dx at the point 3, 3 will be equal to 6 times 3 minus 3 times 3 squared divided by 3 times 3 squared minus 6 times 3. And so this is equal to 18 minus 27 over 27 minus 18, which is equal to minus 1. That's quite handy. And finally, we need to use the uh, point intercept form of the line to write down the tangent line. And so we're going to write y minus 3 over x minus 3 is equal to the slope, which is minus 1. And so we can write this as y minus 3 is equal to minus x minus 3, or y is equal to 3 minus x plus 3 is equal to 6 minus x. And so the formula for this line here is quite simple after all that work. It's simply y is equal to 6 minus x. And that's the tangent line at the point 3, 3 on the folium of Descartes, a problem that Descartes himself could not solve, but Fermat could.